Restoration. Restoration is brought to you by Hisense. Everyday prices for everyday people. Yeah, it's extra long sanitary pad for extra comfort. We got yes protection. A donko hand sanitizer. Sure, or do. Never home bag. Thank you, mommy. Introduce it. Indomie beef flavor. Pack biscuit. Pack up your day more. Use tasty tom and rich tomato mix. Royal Game Cracker. Take truck your hunger. Pepsodent introduces charcoal and lemon essence. It is amazing coming your way again. This is Restoration with Stacey. We are brought to you by Kind Ketsi Yaz Washing Powder and Yaz Sanitary Pad, Hooch Con and Choco Flakes, High Sense, Everyday Prizes for Everyday People, La Palm Royal Beach Hotel. A big thank you to ABS Lux Line located on the Doko Highway for my beautiful kimono outfit today. Thank you to Glowing Makeup Artistry and a big thank you to Brian Phil Photography. And of course, M Clan Media Productions, you guys are simply amazing. And to Sousa Catering Services for always ensuring my team and I are duly refreshed. I didn't know here. TV, fridge, freezer, air conditioning, gas cooker, washing machine, smartphone, sound system, water dispenser, microwave, blender, rice cooker, kettle, and an iron. So I have a high sense smartphone. So yeah, yeah, it is more than more than a high sense factory direct promo. It's in your mother, and I have a light bill. A cool one. baby. Never give for four. Every 28 August, I come from 2nd September. Be be away in showroom no. Say they at home no no. Say na at home. Wait there. Ya titi swa broso. I tell you who high sense. Everyday prices for everyday people. Remember the days I just couldn't go to the gym because it was that time of the month. Yes, extra long sanitary pad took the worry away. Easy. Yes, comfort. I got yes, confidence. I got yes. The new Yaz Extra Long Sanitary Pad is the joy of every woman. It is extra absorbent and fits perfect. But don't allow anything to hold you back when it's that time. Wow. Yes, yes, yes. Feel confident, stay fresh. Hi, is this supposed to be that time of the month? Yes. Yes, confidence, I got Yes. We got Yaz protection, I got Yaz yes, Extra Long Sanitary Pad for extra comfort. We got Yaz yes, Protection. Hello, your friend is Jackie. So we will be our winner on who are the Ajeti Semia. And Pimpino, you to me five gems if you get a dear you need your Brucia, your fans, any and down for four in your. Nanso, who bet to me about home buy? Use a donko hand sanitizer, dip beer, any beer beer. If you say you to me five gems, if you never mind, yes, it's home. A donko hand sanitizer, bet to me about home buy, dip beer, free gems, bacteria, ah, you need your home. A donko hand sanitizer, sure or do. Never will home buy. FD, I should first say, dread the end crowd to him, I'll just to me say a year. Way your tomato mix. Would you swap one on pass? Still loud with tomato flavor, no? No color changing like traffic lights. Like. Debia, coco, come on. Taste it, Tom dear. It will surely give you value for money. This day, a little is enough to get our desired quantity of stew and soup. Taste not so dear. On point. Flavor new. And it doesn't color your meat or chicken. I don't compromise on the quality of my food. Use Tasty Tom and Rich Tomato Mix. This advert is FDA approved. Pepsodent introduces charcoal and lemon essence. The unique combination of natural essences whitens teeth naturally for you and family because every smell matters. New Pepsodent Herbal. Introducing a unique combination of herbal extracts in an antibacterial toothpaste for strong teeth and healthy gums that protects your family and you. Every small matters. Junior, let's play Riddle Riddle. Riddle. What is milky? And yet even more in the pack. And they're your favorite. Pack biscuits. See, you gotta have a smile. Now, more biscuits in every pack. Pack biscuits. Pack up your day more. This advert is FDA approved.
extra work are there for you. Extra work deserves extra taste. Tasty dear. A kosupa. Plus, we've added extra crackers in each bag. Royal King Cracker. Take truck your hunger. This advert is FDA approved. Pepsodent introduces charcoal and lemon essence. A unique combination of natural essences whitens teeth naturally for you and family because every smile matters. New Pepsodent Herbal. Introducing a unique combination of herbal extracts in an antibacterial toothpaste for strong teeth and healthy gums that protects your family and you. Every smile matters. Restoration. Our mental health is very vital to our growth as a person. And most of the time in our society, when we talk about mental health, most people tend to think that you have gone cocoa. But that is not always the case. I always tell my friends that we are all crazy people walking this earth because we all have one or two things that really stresses us out, that brings out that side of us. And today, the topic is so dear to me because most of us need our mental health examined. But we take that for granted. And it's about time we sit up and begin to do the right thing by acknowledging that mental health is a very vital part of our health routine on the daily basis. My guest today is the founder of Emerge New Woman, and we will be talking mental health today. Please help me welcome Lady May. Hi, lady. Hello, Stacy. How are you? Very well. Yourself? I'm doing well, thank you. Right. I tell people that we're all mad and crazy people walking, and whenever I say that, they laugh. <laughs> I just well. want to know, how come you're so passionate about mental health? So my passion comes from my own journey, my story. That's where my passion comes from. There was a time in my life when I had experienced multiple miscarriages over and over and over again. And you get to a stage in life, it, it has a toll on you. And no one seems to understand what you're going through. It felt like there was no help. The few people that cared to ask about it did not have what it takes to accommodate the emotions that it comes with. And this is where my passion has come from, because I realized how I had to deal with a number of things, emotions, by myself. So once I came out of that situation, once I emerged, it became a passion. I told myself, no woman must allowed must be al oh, I'll take that again. No woman must be allowed to go through this alone. Hence, imagine a woman. Before the miscarriages, did mm. you have other children? No, I didn't. So it was miscarriage, then the first miscarriage, second miscarriage, third. In the space of how many years? We're looking at the first one was about six years before the first child. Between the first and the second is about eight years. No way. Yes. So you had waited for six years. Yes. Then finally you're pregnant. Yes. And I'm sure you're excited, you're Very. over the moon. I was. It's yes. finally here. Yeah. How, how did it happen? Where were you? I mean, how did that miscarriage happen? So a few of them happened before her. Okay. And it was frequent. It was so frequent sometimes I didn't even know that I had taken in. So looking at the whole thing, you're able to tell that, no, this is not a normal bleed. This, mm -hmm. So I'll go to the hospital and it will be confirmed that, yes, you this has taken me. place, yes. And that's how, before the first one, after the first one, it kept going on. Almost, I remember someone saying, you're, almost, you're pregnant almost every year. Oh, no way. Oh, yes. People are so insensitive. Yes. So, almost every year, I did experience it. 
until. And for us, mm. the black community, mm. we do not really have much of a support base. No. Because you would have pressure from family, pressure from your spouse's family. And the thing is, they don't say directly to your face. No. But sometimes the kind of comments they pass, mm. you know that I say me the opposite or kissy me but went me anka. And you have friends yes. who are genuinely concerned, mm. who would ask you, and you feel the stress is just too, too much. much. Yes. At, at what point did you get to the stage where you were able to tell yourself, this is just too much? And how did you get your intervention? So this is how it happened. It kept going on. Amazingly, it wasn't from family. Nobody seemed to talk about it. Well, not to me. Not to your face. Yes, but then you go out and there are questions like, Nankwalani Yese, how many are the children? You know, when, then the first one came and then there's a question like, when is the second one coming? You know, you need to stop wearing heels. You need to stop wearing tight Everybody things. Everybody becomes a doctor at That's that exactly point. what it is. So it, once you hear more of that, you then lose the appetite to even be in public. So you withdraw. You want to stay by yourself because you don't want to be out there mm -hmm. and hear what you don't want. So you keep to yourself. And that is how it happened over and over and over again. But then after the first one, before the second one, which is a very long period, I, I sat down one day and I realized that I had stopped being sociable. I had stopped a lot of things that people around me didn't understand it. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you hear comments that are even condemning, but they didn't know exactly what I was going mm -hmm. through. Before the second one, I had been to the doctors and I was told to stop trying because it's happened too many times. Yeah. So I don't lose my life. So that was a blow for me. I had to call back from almost everything, everybody, and think about myself. And that was my awakening. So in the process, I was listening to a motivational audio one day. And then the question was like, why have you given up on yourself? Why have you given up on yourself? Why have you given up on your dreams? Why have you stopped living? So it kept playing for a while. And then in between, the audio came an advert for an empowerment session. It's called the Breakthrough Summit mm -hmm. in the UK. So I decided to register for it and go. That was my awakening. That was my awakening. I realized that I had not been living for you, you were, about 10 you years. You were just existing. I was just existing. I had not been living. You know, you go through, and most of us do. We, we're going through life because you've got responsibilities. Okay. So you go through it every day. And in the face of people, it looks like you're okay. Mm -hmm. It looks like you're living. Perhaps you're in a car, you're holding a phone. Yeah. You're, you look okay in the eyes of people. But deep within, you, you're not okay. You're not living. You're actually dying mm -hmm. within. And nobody seems to understand that side of you because maybe you haven't opened up. Mm -hmm. You can't open up to everybody. Yeah. Because a few people you open up to are also not able to accommodate mm -hmm. you emotionally. And so you keep to yourself, hoping that a miracle will happen one day. How did your life change from being that isolated Lady May into this bubbly Lady May, who is now empowering other women. Mm. So after the summit, I started reading around. I, I went for, I spent about three years continuously educating myself, mm. attending seminars, conferences. I invested in myself. I realized that to be able to move from where I was, because for me, life had stopped. 
I wasn't living, so life has stopped for me to move from there the, into the battery, that space. The battery was dead, so you needed to kick recharge the battery. It. That's it. I needed to recharge it. So, yes, I had to do a lot of investment into myself. I had to read books. I had to listen to a lot of audios. I attended almost every month, unless I don't know about it. But if I did, I would even travel to go to the conference, to the seminar. Gradually, I started, I saw that I was becoming myself again. Well, I was now looking for friends I had not heard from 10 time. years. And so I was like, where have I been? Where are they? Mm -hmm. In fact, the question was, where are they? Yeah. I, it wasn't me. I was still not up to that point where I knew it was me. Mm -hmm. I, I was still thinking, why is everybody silent? Yeah. It took me a while to come to that realization. You had pushed everybody away. away. I got to that realization point. That I call it the awakening point. The point where things start making sense to you. When you start getting understanding into your own behavior, into your own thinking patterns. Why was I thinking this, this way? way? Why was I thinking there's nobody? Mm -hmm. Why am I thinking life is lonely? You start, that is the awakening point. When you start questioning yourself, your actions, and why things are the way they are. Gradually, I went through it a number of years as well. It's, it's not a it's, quick it's, fix. It's not a quick no, fix. No, it's not a quick fix. I went through it gradually, and here is Lady May. So once I got to the point when I realized that I'm okay, I'm not overly burdened emotionally. I'm not too sensitive. It got to a point, the statement from other people, just words will trigger you. Yeah. When I got to that point where all those things became trivial mm -hmm. in my eyes, I realized that a lot had gone on you and I didn't gone. even know. I didn't even know. At that point, I told myself that no woman should be allowed to suffer alone. And so it became a passion to support women. I call it my mandate okay. to ensure that whoever comes in contact with me, I am able to impact as much as I can. God be my helper. It's, it's such a daunting task because for us in Africa, for us in Ghana, it's not easy to open up. No. Opening up to people can actually spell out your doom. Yes. Because you don't know where that conversation is going because everybody has also got someone else that they can confide in. Mm, yeah. So most of the time people turn to just keep quiet and harbor everything within. And I, I call the process the champagne process. The more mm. you bottle it up, the pressure keeps mounting. Then one day you just yes. have the pop. pop. Right. Yes. But in as much as it's good to talk, mm -hmm. you want to be sure who you're talking to. Even if you want to go to the psychiatric hospital to see a psychologist, yes. people will tend to think, hey, I had a woman who. So it becomes very difficult for people. And to even see a psychologist privately in our side of the world is very expensive. Yes. So how do we support women to go out and seek help? This is one of the main reasons why Emerge New Women has come to facilitate that process, to support women, to motivate and encourage women to seek help, open up and seek help. Because like you rightly said, the champagne stage will definitely pop at some mm -hmm. point. And our main aim is to prevent it from popping, because once it pops, you can't catch it back. Yeah, the damage becomes it's done. very dreadful. Yes. So we do, we, we, we open up. We've opened up our offices. We've created the environment to make it easier for people to come in, for our ladies to come in and speak to someone. I call it the sanctuary. If you come in and you just want to vent, we have ears to listen. If you come in and it has to be counseling, we do ask you 
from that point. Yeah. Once you come in, we just don't, we resist the temptation of righting every wrong. Mm. No, that's not how we do it. We, we create the atmosphere for people to be comfortable to be able to open up because like you rightly said, it's not easy for anybody mm -hmm. to just open up to just anybody. Mm -hmm. No, and opening up to the right person is one of my messages mm -hmm. because opening up to a wrong person can affect you. It can even worsen your situation. And so it is better you open up to the right person. You open up with the person with the right skills to support you. Mm -hmm. We have selected psychologists, counselors, psychiatrists that we work with. So when someone come in, we have to assess you. We need to know what your needs are before we will assign you to a professional. The thing is, most people who go through that stage mm. do not even know what their needs are. That's true. Most of them are just clueless. They think the world is coming down on them. Everything true. is in the floating stage. So to find their needs or to have them identify their needs is going to be a problem. So is there an avenue where you can just sit with a person and kind of identify what the person's needs are? The sanctuary is for that purpose. Once you've come in, we've got, we've got listeners, I call them listeners. We've got listeners trained, ladies mm -hmm. who sit with you, have a conversation sure. with you. We, we have a way of conversating mm -hmm. to try and ascertain your state. What you don't want to do is to jump on the person straight away to mm -hmm. worsen it. They, once they realize that you are trying to, too hard, anybody will just step back. So it's a very easy environment, very welcoming non-judgmental space for you to come in and just have a chat with us. By the time we are done, we will communicate all our services available. And if anybody's interested, if you are interested, you come in and then we take it on from there. We don't push things down people's throats. We try to work with you motivationally to try and ascertain what your needs are then we take it from there. Mental health is very broad. It is. So who is your target? Women. Women who are experiencing challenges in their lives. Women who need to ventilate. Women who need to explore their emotions. Women who need to gain insight and clarity into the situation they find themselves in. Because I have, per experience, I've come to realize that when you're in the middle of the challenge, your judgment is cluttered. Your thinking ability. Don't think straight. Yes, it's affected. And so we, the, we, that's what we help you do. Those are the women we work with. Preventing you going down the mental health case itself. So we do prevention. Okay, to prevent this, women, we, we are everywhere. Mm. In the workspace, in the market space, in the right. church, in schools, we're everywhere. Okay. And we seem to be very pivotal mm. in the major avenues in every society. Yeah. So let's say a woman, a working mother who has just had a child, who is going through the stress of being a wife, being a mother, having to meet targets in the office, who has the world breathing down on them. And mostly for most corporate institutions, once a woman has a child and comes back, it's like she becomes some sort of a burden in court. Yes. It's like having a child is some sort of a disease. And it, it becomes quite it disturbing. So you have women really burdened. Mm -hmm. How are you going to convince such a woman that you need help? Because when we need help, we are in denial for a very long time. Very long time. As yeah. we speak, people know they are going through it. Yes. But oh, be way, or, 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 True. That is our society. Mm -hmm. 
how do we convince women to understand that we all need help when it comes to our mental health at some point in time? So as part of our plans, we'll be launching a campaign called Break Free. During that campaign, there will be sessions of psychoeducation okay. where we are going to educate women on how to take care of your mental health, how to preserve it, how to know your stress levels and prevent it from getting out of hand, and the signs, the signs and the symptoms, mm -hmm. most importantly, the signs and the symptoms. Because sometimes when we are experiencing a sign, when the body is talking to us, we tend to ignore it. Yeah, we take it for granted. Yes, but uh, the signs we see, our body is actually the window to our mind. The only way you know what's going on in your mind, in your body, is how you feel. Mm -hmm. So if you're having migraine over and over and over, it's, it's your body flag. telling you it's time to rest. Mm -hmm. If you are experiencing body pains, joints, you, you're sleeping on the best mattress, but you wake up with pains. Perhaps you're not sleeping well enough. Mm -hmm. The fact that you, you shut your eyes is not enough. You must shut down. People shut their eyes, but their minds are still working. Still working. They are yes. sleeping, but they are working. Yes. Yes, a lot of people do that yeah. because you can toss and turn overnight. Mm -hmm. And our body is just like, I compare it to the computer. Yeah. After the computer has been used for a long time, it is turned off, down. it is refreshed. Yeah. And then once you boost it, it starts fresh and it works at yeah. its maximum. This is how our body is like. So you have to be able to shut down at the end at of point. every day mm -hmm. properly, shut down mentally. Because if the mind is still working and your eyes are shut, you're not asleep. Your eyes are just closed. Yeah. But every other part of your body is working as it's supposed to. And that eventually will have a toll on your body, on your health. I'm sure a lot of us are feeling guilty. Eh? On that last note, a lot of us are feeling guilty. We'll be right back after this break. I didn't know here. TV, fridge, freezer, air condition, gas cooker, washing machine, smartphone, sound system, water dispenser, microwave, blender, rice cooker, kettle, and an iron. Say, I'm a high sense smartphone. No, so Yeah, titty so more than more than a high sense factory direct promo. It's in your mother. No, I'm a light bill. A cool first see baby. Never give for four. A 28 August. I come from 2nd September. Be here where a showroom. No, say they are torn. No, no, son. I get on. Wait, dear. Yeah, titty so bro. So I tell you who high sense. Everyday prices for everyday people. Remember the days I just couldn't go to the gym because it was that time of the month. Yes, extra long sunny trip took the worry away. Easy. Yes, comfort. I got yes, confidence. I got yes. The new Yaz Extra Long Sanitary Pad is the joy of every woman. It is extra absorbent and fits perfect. But don't allow anything to hold you back when it's that time. Wow. Yes. Yes, yes. Feel confident. Stay fresh. Hi. Is this supposed to be that time of the month? Yes. Yes, confidence. I got yes. We got yes protection. I got yes. Extra long sanitary pad for extra comfort. We got yes protection. Junior, let's play riddle, riddle. Riddle. What is milky? And yet even more in the pack. And they're your favorite. Pack biscuits. See, you gotta have a smile. Now, more biscuits in every pack. Pack biscuits. Pack up your day more. This advert is FDA approved. Tasty tom tomato mix. Oh, fuck a cra. Nah, ye be brave. Fuck a cra, young quine is stew. Do do a ope. Tasty tom dear. It will surely give you value for money. The steak, a little is enough to get our desired quantity of stew and soup. And it doesn't color your meat or chicken. Tasty tom tomato mix in stew. 
Me ha writing and si soda. Then I need them to be a sanet here. Into customers bar never. I don't compromise on the quality of my food. Use tasty tom and rich tomato mix. This advert is FDA approved. Pepsodent introduces charcoal and lemon essence. The unique combination of natural essences whitens teeth naturally for you and family because every smile matters. New Pepsodent Herbal. Introducing a unique combination of herbal extracts in an antibacterial toothpaste for strong teeth and healthy gums that protects your family and you. Every smile matters. Junior, let's play Riddle Riddle. Riddle. What is milky? And yeah, even more in the pack. And they're your favorite. Pug biscuits. See, you gotta have a smile. Now, more biscuits in every pack. Pack biscuits. Pack up your day more. This advert is FDA approved. Pepsodent introduces charcoal and lemon essence. The unique combination of natural essences whitens teeth naturally for you and family because every smile matters. New Pepsodent Herbal. Introducing a unique combination of herbal extracts in an antibacterial toothpaste for strong teeth and healthy gums that protects your family and you. Every smile matters. Extra work, I day for you. Extra work deserves extra taste. Tasty dear, a kosupa. Plus, we've added extra crackers in each bag. Royal King Cracker, take truck your hunger. This advert is FDA approved. Welcome to our super crazy giveaway moment. We are still at Roji One Hair Studio and I'm having a good time because all these lovely ladies love restoration with Stacy. Sweetheart, how are you? I'm fine. Your name? Angela. Angela. Angela, speak up. Speak up. I don't know. Now, maybe I will be with you. I don't know what to say. 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 <laughs> Young guess, you move the kidney as papa. Like, who been on your work kidney episode? I assume when you film this, say so. Nipa, who's like, oh, Baba, boy, oh, Siswa, baby, oh, baby, I found who shame as a kidney kind. All of a shirt, I was around to you, and so the boots are called Bonabonfia, and money, and my wine, yeah. Say, I'm money, I'm money, and you soon could answer my mind, and one year deadline. Okay, yeah. When I said, the only say I'm, I'm far. far. Oh, I'll be back, back to school. It's about a year and a fire. No, brand new house here. Be already no shame. A fire. And to say, you know, Miss Miss Miss, you say, be the most shame. Like a boy, yeah. You wish to form an image of me, huh? And see, kid, the name is favorite. Wow, bonsai ma, bonsai ma, bonsai ma. And to say, kid, the year of favorite. I know, so high sense, so so yeah, your favorite. And so yes, so yeah, that was super brave. And then I'll catch your high sense. High sense, madam was say. Say I share for free for madam, my madam was say. High sense, everyday prizes for for everyday people. Thank you very much. Next week we'll come your way with another winner. Restoration. Welcome back, and that is our winner for this week's High Sense Super Crazy Giveaway moment. We'll still have our High Sense session right here in the studio with Lady May. So our conversation is getting interesting. We are talking about women, women, women. But most of the time, most of the things that actually send women on that route is not always caused by women. Because we know that broken hearts cannot be caused by us women. No, some men would have to break some hearts for that to happen. So how are we bringing in our brothers, our husbands to understand that, yes, we seem to be very strong, but we are also very fragile. And how can they support us? Um, how do we educate them to actually support 
the symptoms. And know that, no, I think the way wifey is going, I need to take her to get checked because your old chance are not even True. True. So, how do we kind of engage them to be part of this so it doesn't look like just the women agenda, but getting the guys to rally with us? So, from our campaign, some of our messages will be centered on the signs to look out for, the signs and symptoms. Anybody who is following us and paying attention will definitely pick on some signs and symptoms to know that, okay, if I see this in my wife, if I'm seeing this in my sister, and talking about that, let me give this example here. You know, there's a saying that is, is commonly said, there's a statement that is commonly said, like, oh, we are bomb. And we take it very light, like, why are slow? Mm -hmm. But that is a mental health concern. Postpartum is yeah, something postpartum that needs pressure. attention. And most women have it. Yes. And so our brothers will have to be on the lookout and learn the signs, first of all. Especially after childbirth. After childbirth. It becomes very, I th women become very demanding after childbirth. Life itself becomes demanding, yeah. yes. And because I'm sure he might be used to the fact that before now, while you will be there, yeah. but now you're seeking yeah. support, you're seeking yes. health. And there are some who would not even wake up to help with the babies at night. So the women are going through the daily processes and would still have to do that night shift. Shift, definitely. So it, it becomes very daunting. Very, very stressful. Very stressful. We will encourage our brothers to, first of all, know the signs, because if you don't understand the signs, you can't support. Mm -hmm. Secondly, develop the ability to accommodate all the extras that comes with it. It takes emotional intelligence to be able to support a woman, to be able to support a woman in that state. If a woman had just had a child, like you rightly said, they are doing double shift, yeah. I call it. They're doing the day shift, and making the sure shift. the house is run perfectly. Mm -hmm. And then the night shift, which is mostly done alone, we will encourage our brothers to mix a bottle, feed a baby, change a nappy, be supportive, be there. The least you can ask is, mm -hmm. are you okay? Mm -hmm. How are you? you? It's very important. Mm -hmm. A lot of the times, that question is overlooked, but it's very valuable. That question, it's a million answered question. It's one that would open up a whole can. Most people don't do it because yeah, the, they don't want to open the can. Because the moment you ask, that mm. is like a window or door for ventilation. It so is. That person is going to vent. Yes, hence my earlier statement that you have to build the capacity to accommodate because I'm going back to your expression. The champagne will pop if it is not opened slowly. Yeah. It will pop at some point. Mm -hmm. So to preserve your wife's wellness, to preserve her mental well-being, her general well-being, okay you will have to be the number one counselor. Mm -hmm. Be the listener. Accommodate her. Let her share her concerns. You may not have answers to all of it, all of it. but allow her to ventilate to you. There are a lot of complaints that women talk outside, women talk too much. Anybody will talk to someone who is who ready to listen. And so, our brothers should accommodate that action. They should accommodate, be there mm -hmm. for your wife to ventilate, to open up. Truly, it is stressful. If you're a woman and you've been in that situation, you know how stressful it is. Sometimes you snap because you're tired. Yeah. You've barely slept throughout the night. You've, you've barely slept in weeks. You know, you cry when your child is crying. <laughs> These are some of the signs yeah. that our brothers can look at. If you're seeing your wife complaining too much, mm -hmm. 
crying when there's nothing to cry, cry about. about. It's a sign that they are tired. What, what of those who watch movies and cry? It's an overflow of the emotions. Okay. Yes, it's an overflow. You know, there's a trigger. So there would have been something in the movie, the movie. that will trigger that action. That's it. Okay. That's it. So okay. it, would, it would trigger it, mm -hmm. and then the tears will flow. Mm -hmm. So things like upe sundo, upe kasa dodo, those are things. Ode upe attention dodo. No. Even if that's what you're thinking, I just want to encourage you. Don't let it come out because a woman in that state needs support, encouragement. Just a touch on the shoulder will do. Just how are you will do. Sit down for a few minutes and listen to her speak. Once she is empty, yeah. there will be nothing else to say. say. It's true. So we just have to build that and create that awareness. Be aware of your wife's state and be ready to support her. So if anybody needs help, how do they reach out to you? Imagine New Woman is on all social media platforms. Imagine New Woman has um, a website, www.imagenewwoman.org. There is a contact us form that you can fill in and we contact you in less than 12 hours. We would contact mm -hmm. you and arrange a meeting with you. As part of our campaign, we are also getting ready to accept calls in, okay. calls to take in distress mm -hmm. calls. So if you feel like talking to somebody, if you want to express yourself, so, if you have a concern and you want to look at it from another person's perspective, there will always be somebody on the other side to listen to you. Ready and willing to listen. Yes. Are there meetings where, aside meet, um, talking to those women over the phone, getting in touch with you on social media, is there any way you can meet with them? Because sometimes fellowshipping is also a different way of getting people mm -hmm. to let go. Yes. Because over the phone, yes, we are talking, but the moment the person is able to add a face to a name, there is a much appropriate connection yeah. and the person can feel relaxed to talk to you and open up more. Do you have plans of having such meetings? We do have a number of meetings. We have a yearly program that we do every 26th of December. Okay. It's more of a motivational um, summit okay. where ladies meet. We, we, we always have ladies who come in to share their stories mm -hmm. of going through struggles, how they came Get out, out and where they are now. Mm -hmm. Just to encourage ourselves that you're not alone. No. Someone else is going yeah, through it. If thing. you have been, if that person has been through it, so can you. Mm -hmm. And that is supposed to give comfort. Because it's at the end of the year, it's not just a motivation. It's a time to break bread. So okay. we have a whole session of food, drinks, and... and you break proper bread. Proper bread. Tea bread, butter bread, <laughs> sugar bread, every kind of bread. All the bread. Okay. I'll be there 26th of December. Mabuki, right? Yes, that I'll is there. Bread. There are a few other events that we hold. We, that's one of our main events. Okay. We have the... We have building momentum to emerge where we teach women how to... We learn how to take care of yourself. We learn some of the things that affect women mm -hmm. and how to deal with it. Okay. We learn the legal side of mm -hmm. things. We learn personal development. We learn uh, management, how mm -hmm. to manage your finances, your business. It's, it's, it's a two-day mm -hmm. summit. Mm -hmm. So anyone looking for personal development that... Can reach out event is for you okay. so you can reach out and the date for the next one will be out soon okay. lady can you share the numbers in case anybody wants to reach out right 
The number to contact us on is 05311-43126. It's 05311-43126. Okay, so you have the number and you have the number on the screen. If you need support, if you need help, if you think your wife, your sister, your aunt is showing any signs, please, you can even call on behalf of the person and I am sure the team will do their best to give you all the needed support. So please, mental health is very serious because our mental health is our wealth. So we do not have to play with it. So I know, a more sincere, intimate calculating first can be fee. And we need wealth to survive as a people. So please, let's take it seriously and let's all do our best to go for help if we see the signs. Lady, in case anybody wants to support this beautiful vision, how do they support you? There is a donate button on our website okay. to donate online, so you can support online. Okay. Our office line for support is 026-336-5227 for support okay. and our email is info at imaginewoman.com Okay. And Lady, uh, you're Ghana. Mobile money, no, no, no. Mobile money, no. So, so is there mobile money number? There is. Is there a bank account that there people is. can just... Okay. So so some yeah, people yeah. support different organizations. So it could be somebody's vision to, or vision or mission to say, okay, every month I'm going to support um, emerge new woman with thousand cities or two thousand cities. Most people would even have it as a standing order on their account. So if we can have all that information, it will go a long way to help save a lot of women. So for those who want to support emerge new woman, you can do that via Momo or through the bank. So you have all the details on the screen. Kindly make it a point to support because you never know. It could be your sister, your friend, your girlfriend, your wife, your mother, who would need the support from us. So kindly make it a point. If you're donating 1,000 cities every month, 500 cities every month, 200 cities, 100 cities, 50 cities, 20 cities, we would very much appreciate it. So kindly support us so that the mental health of women is actually one of the best we can have in the world not in this country, not in Africa, but in the world. Lady, thank you so much for coming. It's time for a high sense moment. So kindly pick a card, and we'll see what you're taking home. Thank you for coming. You take home a high sense rice cooker. So lady, you take home a high sense rice cooker. Okay. Thank you very much. So this is from High Sense to you. Thank you. With the Fatcha Faculty Office, no be a Mfanye Adrian in BY, Mr. So thank you very much. That is not all. From our sponsor, Lexta Ghana, producers of Yas products, we have these for you. So this is from Yas to you. Thank you. It has been an insightful episode, and I know most of you have started saying, Ah, we all need help, we all need somebody, and we all need a shoulder to cry and lean on once in a while. I'll say a very big thank you to our sponsors, Yas Washing Powder and Yas Sanitary Pad, Hooch Con and Tuko Flakes, High Sense Everyday Prizes for Everyday People. A big thank you to La Palm Royal Beach Hotel, ABS Lux Line, Aceda Fabric, Glowing Makeup Artistry, thank you very much. Brian Phil Photography, M Clan Media Productions, and the Souza Catering Services. You are all simply amazing. Always do remember, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. We'll see you next week. <laughs>